<laughs> hey, Kay. Your first one on. Let's see. Hi, Lori. Hey, Kay. Did you go anywhere? Hi, Katie. No, you made it once before. What are you talking about? Oh, Bloom is behind me. She, you barely, you can't really see her. Mo, what are you talking about, Kay? <laughs> oh. How's everybody this evening? Oh, you've watched a live before. Okay. You're getting ready to watch another one now, aren't you, dear? <laughs> oh, okay, you're here. All right. You didn't go anywhere. All right. I just had dinner with Kay. My mom and I just did. Hi, Angela. Kay is my best friend from high school. We went to uh, actually middle school and high school together uh, in Dothan. And then I moved up here. And she moved up here about, what, two years ago? Or three, two or three years ago? Two. I can't remember. It's, it's not been very long, though. She lives about seven minutes from me. Glad she's close by. We just don't see each other as much as we should. All right. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do this evening. Um... I don't know. I, I just love the vintage, especially on the Halloween. Uh, for some reason, on Halloween and Valentine's Day, I just love the vintage-looking uh, signs. So I came up with this one today, which I thought was really cute. It says Salem Broom Company, and it's got a lot of little twirlies and stars, squigglies on it. Very nostalgic-looking. And we're going to pair it up with two different rolls of mesh. We have the jute, orange jute. We've got the black jute. And, of course, we've got our wreath frame with our 16 ties. We're going to pair it with uh, this orange and black canvas-type ribbon. Uh... And we've got this tan, black and white. That's canvas as well. That's actually Swiss dot. Yeah, that's a Swiss dot ribbon. I just realized that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's got the little bitty black dots. And then my absolute favorite is this Harlequin with the kind of off-white background. That's perfect for this. And we'll match it up with this uh, burlap trimmed in the, the black, bur no, that's a black, uh, oh gosh, what do you call that canvas with the orange trim? So we'll put these two together. All right, and I usually have those already cut, but I was on the phone too long. I didn't get that done, so you guys are going to have to watch me cut, which is okay too. But I do already have my um, mesh pre-cut. Oh, you love anything Harlequin. Hi, Susan. How are you this evening? Hi, Carrie Ann. Okay, guys, let me tell you who Carrie Ann is. Carrie Ann and I went to college together at the University of South Alabama in Mobile. That's where we met. 
and I haven't seen her in a long time either. We both uh, were in the same program. We were getting our degrees in speech therapy, speech pathology, and that's where we met. We both started having babies at the same time. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I can get back down there, Carrie Ann, or you should come and see me, dear. I know we both have grandkids now. Hi, Sheena. I love that sign, too. I've got a couple others that I may come out with. I don't know. But um, I'm definitely going to have some Christmas uh, that are similar to this that will have the... Uh, sleighs on them and this vintage santas and the reindeer and all that so y'all can uh, look out for those i'm excited to do those too this particular sign is eight by ten is the measurement on this which i think will be perfect for our wreath that we're getting ready to do yes carrie ann uh, i'm not i know you've been watching but i've got another one that's due anytime now she's having some blood pressure issues and uh doctor keeps telling her she thinks it's going to be soon so it'll be Emily's uh, first baby oh that's right guys Katie's telling y'all about the soul sister crafty club our free group so you guys please be sure to check that out she's got a type there just search for it enjoyed and we'll approve you oh and I Katie you need to share with my live over there I forgot to do that you need to share me to the Crafty Club and share me to um, the Soul Sister Community page, please. If you don't mind, I'd appreciate that. See, I, I don't have my list with me on everything I need to do. There's so many little things you need to do when you do a live. And I always forget something. All right. Okay, guys. All right, let's get started. Um, I think what we'll do is the uh, Woodland Ruffle. I think she actually does it on 35 inch cut, but I've cut these at 20, but we're going to curl them up like that. And uh, then we're going to add a, a orange on top. But I really like how this turns out. So we'll put our and I very rarely open my twist ties back up. I know maybe I probably should do that, but I don't. Now, the orange one, um, of course, you can cut it whatever length you like. I did do this one at 15, 15 inches. So I cut all the black ones at 20 inches, and I cut the orange ones at 15. Oh, that's great, Angela. Are you here in town already? Hi, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Karen. Yes, guys, please, if you don't mind sharing my live, I'd greatly appreciate that, too. Check out my page. Check out my, my girl Katie's page. Crazy Maisie Creation. She's on here being my other other voice tonight we try to do that for each other crazy Maisie creations check her out as well she's got lots of signs and kits to offer another one of my soul sisters Doreen who Hewlett door designs check her out as well she'll probably pop on here in a minute And the other three girls in our group, we've got Lori Jacobs with Hardworking Mom. I'm sure a lot of y'all already know her. She's been around around a while. And Cheryl Todd. Yeah, you're my VA, that's right. With Desert Mouse Arts and Crafts. Uh, Cheryl has just made me two baby quilts. Uh, one for uh, Brooks, of course, which is our baby that we're waiting to be born. Hi, Christine. And then um, my little grandson um, that is, what, nine months old now, ten months old? Um, 
Madden. I didn't get one for him when he was born, so I had her make one for him as well. Can't wait to see him. Oh, and my last soul sister, don't forget about Hazy's Heart and Home, Amanda Hazy. Check her out as well. Can you put up the free private group? I would like to join Karen. All right, Katie, work VA, Soul Sister Crafty Club. <laughs> She'll put it up again, Karen. Yeah, we have a um, standing discount in there. 15% off everything in our shop. There we go. She's got it there, Karen. Oh, hi, Mary. You're not late. We're just getting started. That looks longer than 20. I think I miscounted. That's probably when I was talking on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Half face is my cat. Do y'all see my cat? She's on the back of my chair here. That's who Katie's referring to when she says half face. Her name is Luna. She's Chloe's cat. But of course, Chloe doesn't take care of her. I do. You know how that is. Your kids get an animal. Then they move out. The animal stays here, <laughs> which is fine. Luna's no no problem. She's easy to take care of. She just lays around and wants to eat cat treats all the time. Ooh, I like this orange and black mesh together. It looks really good. I just like the vintage rustic look. That's just me. Farmhouse. All right. There we go. Sharing is caring. That's right. Oh, thank you, Karen. She doesn't have a voice. So she can't meow. She tries, but she does she's does not have a voice. Chloe's boyfriend found her, if this is the truth, um, out by an old barn. When she was a kitten, Chloe, bless her heart, she's just got a soft spot for animals. Of course, we all do, but she really does. And uh, so we've had her ever since. <laughs> That's funny, Angela. Her face is different on each side, Christine. One side is, uh, let's see, where is she? I don't know if you can see her face or not. One side is dark and one side is lighter. And I think that's why she freaks Katie out. Because her, her face is two different colors. Reminds you of, uh, what's that, uh, uh, the Batman character that has two different faces I can't think of the name oh, let me just put this name on she it's not the Joker is it two, it's two face that's his name two face yeah Luna's got two faces half of one face and half of another <laughs> Katie's 
Cracky Club discount. I guess she put that in there for me. You get 15% off for being in our Crafty Club, guys. She's half and half. That's right. My hair is on point. Oh, well, I just fixed it because I went out to eat with Kay. <laughs> so I decided well, I better come do a live since my hair my hair looks halfway decent tonight. I mean, you guys are doing a craft show. Are you getting ready for one? The one that I usually like to do, um, I could not get it. Well, I didn't try to get in it because that's when my grandson was due and I didn't want to. I didn't want to get involved in it and then have to worry about trying to find somebody to be there and all the time. The cost for the Crafty Club, Mary, it is free. F-R-E-E. -E. No charge. All you have to do is uh, request to join and uh, just give us a few minutes. We're usually pretty good about uh, okay in those immediately. What were you looking for, Christine? Luna, what are you doing? I'm shaking my chair. Luna. Oh, she saw my mom. She thinks she's going to get a treat. That's where she's going. Oh, yes, Nancy. I have got several uh, Christmas kits. I'm going to have some nostalgic ones like this. And then I've got some uh, really cute ones that have like, a, I've got some Santa heads and I've got some snowman heads that I'm going to uh, do kits with. Yeah, half face is moving around. Hubby and I just trimmed the shell teeth. <laughs> Yeah, it's not easy to trim the dogs. Hi, Kathy. Nobody's doing any craft shows. Oh, thank you, Carla. Yeah, do those things that Carla said. Hi, Gary. Hey, Cheryl. There's another one of my soul sisters. That's Cheryl, the one I was telling you about that with the baby quilts. She's on. Cheryl, I was telling everybody about my baby quilts. She also made me an, an awesome one with, uh, I love bumblebees. And it's like a bumblebee, bumblebee themed. Uh, quilt and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Catherine has a craft show in December. Mary, you've got one in next Saturday. Oh, wow. That's soon. 
We've got plenty of merchandise ready for that. Oh, do I see, did you say Melly Mail? Is she on there? Hey, hi. Hi, Melly Mail. From one Melissa to another. Kathy, you have one in September, October, and November. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys hear the dogs barking. I think they're getting treats. Kathy, you've got a large one in November. Wow. There's one in Birmingham uh, here that is like really huge. I believe it's one of those, uh, uh, what do y'all call it? Is it JC's? Is that what you call it? I can't remember. Juried one or whatever. It's really hard to get in those. Hi, Haley. Y'all, I have a daughter named Haley, and then I have a niece named Haley. Haley Scott is my niece. She's watching us. Oh, always working, aren't you, Millie? I know I am. Doesn't seem like we ever get time off. We've got 30. That's a good number. Yeah. I should have counted last year when I did our NECA show how many wreaths I sold. I, I can't even remember. It is actually cooling off some here. Thank goodness. I'm dropping all my mesh on the floor. Hi, Tammy. sick. Somebody's not feeling well. I had some of uh, Millie Mills energy. I've been watching you at night, girl. You, you have a lot of energy to be late at night. I guess I can't count. I'm gonna be short one of these unless I find it on the floor. Or 
sprinkled. <laughs> I like that. Oh, come on, turn. But to recap, guys, let me tell you what I'm doing here. We've got our wreath form with our 16 ties on it. And I've cut 20 inch uh, black jute on the bottom, all the way around. And I'm using the Woodland Ruffle curling thing, curling it on the ends. And then I, um, I'm going back and putting the orange jute. I cut it at 15 and making curls and putting the top on the top layer. And let's see. I do think I'm going to need one more orange one. Here's one I was playing with earlier. Uh, party all night, no sleep. You're young, girl. Or you're younger than me. I can't do that anymore. Oh, boy. I do have to cut one more. Okay. Let's cut one more of these. And then we'll get our ribbon going here. These I cut at 15. 10. So out of these two rolls of mesh, you will have half a roll, well, be half a roll, little little less than half a roll left over of the whoops, of the orange. That's the last piece of mesh. That looks good. I like that. Let me show you. So there's our wreath base. Our orange and our black. This is going to be really cute. Yeah. That's going to be cute, cute, cute. Okay. So. I need my 13 inch tail and of course it's not sitting there so let me find it Grab a drink too. I've got some iced coffee here that I started on earlier. And my Auburn cup. Okay, so let's cut these at, let's do 13 inches. Oh, and the ribbon guys in this kit, you're going to get five yards of each. Mm 
which is going to give you uh, plenty for your ribbon tails and then um, a bow as well. Oh, yep, it's the green one. Sorry, I missed some comments, guys. Hopefully, Katie's answered anything. Hi, Jess. Hi, Rose. So I went out today to go to the post office at, gosh, 2.33 o'clock, somewhere around there. I forgot school had started back. I won't do that again. I got caught in the traffic. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Katie. You're the best VA ever, and you're free. <laughs> I love this Swiss dot. How's your crew, Jessica? Hi, Elaine. Where are you from, Elaine? Are, are you a wreath maker? All right, this is my favorite right here, the Harlequin. Hi, Judy. And Irma. Hi, Sheila. Guys, I forgot to tell you about the perfect tails. And my doodle caddy right here. Of course, you know these perfect tails, or most of you probably have them. They're great for measuring your ribbons. Your sport. Watch me do it here. They are available in my shop if you do not have a set. They can be purchased in sets of three. 12, 13, and 14 inch tail, or you can buy them individually. You can buy 12 or 13 or 14 or an 11. And then we've got a uh, tiny tail set that is 8, 9, and 10. And those are great for measuring hoops as well. 
and especially if you like to do the unique and the creek boards, um, they're very helpful measuring your poofs with those. And I think I got, oh, got one more cut. And then, of course, they all fit lovely in my doodle caddy here. Can you see? Oh, this way. There we go. I gotta move some things around here. And of course, this was Katie and her husband's brainstorming idea here. It doubles as a branding board as well. And of course, holds all your tools and holds these perfect tails. Katie, you need to put in your shop so if they're interested in a doodle caddy. They can check those out and they come in different colors. I'm not sure how many colors she's got listed in there now, but I know that there's several different colors you can get them in. They are made with love. Three pancake wreaths and one of your baby wreaths today oh mary you did a uh did you do a 12 inch okay katie? katie you did a 12 inch was it last night i can't remember yeah, it was last night yeah the 12 inch wreaths are really cute and you know they're great for craft shows too craft fairs yeah i'm gonna try one of those if not tonight in the morning Yeah, those wreaths, they still turn out to be a really good size. Um, I think, what, 22 inches maybe? 20, 21, 22 inches? Yeah, they're much more economical to ship, too. Let's see. I think I missed the bottom of my Harlequin ribbons over there, or at least one of them. All the cutting done. Put scissors back. Put this back where it belongs so I can find it next time. Y'all, my craft room is a mess. Huge mess. But you know what? If it was clean, you wouldn't be doing much work now, would you? Okay, let's see. let's get these ribbon tails on. Twenty-one inches, yeah. See, that's still a good size, y'all. Hi, Georgie. Hi, Celia. Cecilia. All right. Okay. I'm here. So. Yeah, that's right. If it's clean, you've got way too much time on your hands. You don't have time to clean it up. That's a good thing. That's the way I look at it. Oh, this is going to look so cute. 
Yeah, I can't wait to get the, the sleigh sign that I'm going to do. Ooh, maybe I'll try to work on that tomorrow. Is it too early for Christmas? Oh, sure you can share this please do please do oh thank you melly i love the mesh too i was telling everybody earlier in the beginning i just of course I'm a rustic kind of vintage look kind of girl, or since the name of my shop, but I've just got to find more time to come on live a little more often. Oh, Nancy, you just made a mesh Christmas tree. Ooh. That sounds pretty. Christmas started in July. That's right, Susan. You're right about that. Well, maybe I'll put a Christmas kit or two together tomorrow. Hi, Anna, and thank you. Took eight rolls of mesh to do the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, how big is it? Is it something you can like put outside on your front porch? I bet that's gorgeous. Oh, tomato cake is okay. Ooh, I bet that's pretty. Oh yeah, show us a picture. I guess you can't do that on a live though, can you? You could go, you could post it on my page. You could go there and see it, Susan. If you have a page, Nancy, you could put your page in there so people can go look. That'll work too. Oh, yeah, do one in the clubhouse, Katie. I want to see how that's done. That really sounds pretty. Seems like I remember seeing a video a year or two ago. You know how you can see those speeded up ones sometimes? I just watched like part of it. Luna, welcome 
cat's gone. She went and got trees. can Nancy. You can post it on Burlap Boutique. It's Burlap Bo it's B O W T I Q U E. And it's got A L on the end of it for Alabama. Hi from Louisiana. Hello Dawn. Um I'll tell you what, send it to my email, which is also Burlap Boutique at outlook.com you're barking at you think somebody's here don't you bp come here there's probably somebody walking their dogs Let's see, one more on the bottom here, and we move on to the top. Where's Big A? Big A is asleep. Big A is what they call my husband. That's what grandkids call him. Big A. Yep, he has worked a lot of hours this week, and he was very tired. This Jessica, that is called a doodle caddy. Hang on, I'll move the uh, wreath and you can see it better. I've got to find a better place to sit it so you guys can see it. This is my doodle caddy, and it came from Katie. Katie and her husband uh, make these. They're in her shop in crazymazycreation.com. And I think they come in several different colors. Um, they hold the perfect tails very well. And of course, you've got other holes here for your scissors, um, snippers. I just keep the main things that I use, you know, on a regular basis in here. Uh, I keep my, uh, whatever that thing's called. I can't even think right this minute. Uh, mesh cutter. Oh, I'll tell you hello, Susan. <laughs> but yeah, but yes, check out Katie's shop for these. And um, I know that if you are in the Crafty Club, there's a discount that you get for that, 15% off. So check that out. I know, Jessica, it's cool, isn't it? See, if I had it sitting in the right spot, I've got to maneuver my camera in a different angle so that I can set it where it can be seen. Because see, it's showing me the name of my shop. I love that. Perfect. All right. I will tell him, Susan. You don't live quite so far. We ought to get together sometime. Haven't seen you in a while. Susan and I used to work together. We 
they used to have a good time. Put your website in there, Katie, so they can see where to get the doodle caddy. But just know if you buy the doodle caddy, you have to buy the perfect tails too, because they, they've got to go in that slot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Katie's got her link in there. Yeah, it's like peanut butter and jelly. They go together. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'll look for it, Nancy. And when I get off of this live, I will um, post the picture of your mesh tree made out of the tomato cage, right? I'll uh, post it on my page so everybody can see it. So you guys, when we're finished here, give me just a few minutes to um, get it posted and take a look at it. I can't wait to see it. Now I've got that song in my head. What is it? We go together from Greece. <laughs> Let's see. Still gotta make a bow and decorate it, okay. Oh, I cut too many of these. This is why I've gotta have my stuff cut in advance because when I get on here talking. Either too many or too short. All right. Last one. Oh, thank you, Katie. Yep, I love it too. It's pretty. All right, here we are with our ribbon tails. Ooh, I really like it. That is pretty. I think that Harlequin just makes it. 
All right, let's get this sign ready. All righty. Okay. Got little pieces of jute flying everywhere. All right. Just grabbing a piece of foam. We'll use to put behind the staples. Where's my stapler? Oh, there it is. Okay. ought to be enough on this. I make these signs out of quarter inch plywood so that they're not really heavy. Of course we know if they're heavy they're going to add make our shipping go up so try to keep them Keep that shipping price down. All right. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Susan. So let's get our sign on here. Hi, Lisa. Okay, it said it didn't send. Okay. Did you have my email address correct? Check it again and be sure it's burlap boutique, B O W T I Q U E, at outlook.com. Uh, can you send it in a private message, maybe? Try that if the email doesn't work. All right. This is really cute. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do is snip the ends off the pipe cleaners. Those are cute if you're doing a fun, whimsical design just to... Curl them up. But since we're doing vintage, we'll snip these off. Sharpen the snippers. Seem to be on the dull side. You sent it to Messenger. Okay.
Oh, good. It's there. Okay. All right, guys. Almost there. Almost finished. Hang with me. I do this with. I just don't know where those are at the moment. Did you order from me, Nancy? I'll be working on getting kits out tomorrow. Oh, I forgot about the mystery boxes. That's something else we're going to start doing, guys. Um, we're going to have mystery kits. Um, which of course mystery means you don't know what's going to be in it, but it is going to be a wreath kit um, that will contain everything you need to do to make a finished wreath, and um, they will be uh, seasonal. So if you purchase one, you may get a Halloween, you may get a fall kit, you might get a Thanksgiving kit. Or you may receive a um, Christmas or winter kit. Oh, I almost forgot about that. So, yes, please check that out. Katie's going to have some listed, and so will I. And, of course, your discount code will work on those just as well. Yeah, I like the polka dot too. My favorite though is this um, Harlequin. All right, let's see what it looks like. Whoops, 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 this way. There we go. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. What does everybody think? It is pretty. And of course, I will list the wreath in my shop. You can also purchase the kit or the sign, the kit, the kit, which is everything we use tonight, or uh, you can purchase the sign by itself, or you can purchase the sign with the ribbons. I offer it all three ways. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, I may put this one on my door. Salem Broom Company. And like I said, I'm going to have some Christmas ones that are going to be vintage style um, along these lines. So I might be able to get one of those put together tomorrow and list it. So make sure you go on and Join the Soul Sister Crafty Club because I think you get notified there immediately. And of course, all you got to do is uh, like my page and follow my page as well. I, you know what, Christine, I saw something very similar to that today, and I remember hearing you say that on Katie's live the other day. Uh, yeah, we do need to do that. <laughs> Sisters, we fly. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, um, thank you guys for hanging out. I'm glad you like the read. And um, like I said, tomorrow I'll see what I can do about getting something that's Christmas. I had in mind um, something along the same lines, but it would have uh, 
a nostalgic Christmas. I think maybe it's Santa and the reindeer. Maybe it says ho, ho, ho underneath it or something like that. But um, it'll be cute. It'll be cute too. Two brooms and a vacuum. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to see what I can come up with. All right, guys. We'll say goodnight, and um, hopefully maybe tomorrow I'll be able to come back on and do another one. If I get that Christmas one put together in the morning, I'll try to come on tomorrow and do uh, the demo of it as well. Um, my grandson has a football game, and I think it's like early in the morning. And I think I'm going to go watch that as long as it's not really, really hot. And um, then come back after that. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you, Carol.